Hi, this is Bill with Scuba Views, and I just received this in the mail a few days ago. This is the iGills underwater housing for your iPhone. Now, originally when I saw this, I saw that it had a $329 price tag on it. Well, it's not just an underwater housing. It's an underwater housing. It is a dive computer when you download the free app. It also turns your phone from a dive computer into a video camera, which films in 1080p uh, or whatever your, whatever your uh, filming preference is on your camera. Also, a still camera underneath the water. Not only that, but the, when you connect this, it will take a GPS coordinate and all your videos all your dive information and all your still photographs are connected to that one site, that one dive. So it makes a very convenient place for you to have a location for all of your things. I consider this to be a very fantastic piece of equipment. So let's get to unpacking this right now to show you what's going on. First of all, it comes in this nice little box. And this little box we're just going to open up. And there's a bag inside the nice little box here. We're going to take that out. Also, if you lift the the interior of this box, there happens to be a strap in there also. And that strap is a lanyard so that you can hang this on you so you don't have to worry about losing this whole thing. Okay, so we're going to set the lanyard uh, apart to the side for just a moment. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this bag. And this bag is a nice little gray bag and it says eye gills on it. It's a great thing to, to uh, keep that clean and dust off of it and everything else. And as you pull these things out, you'll see that number one, we have our eye gills underwater housing right here. It's the SA-35 and it's rated to 130 feet. On this side, you have access once your phone is inside there. So you want to make sure that you have the phone available uh, uh, when you use this to put everything together. It also comes with a manual. And the manual is very, very important because when you set this up, you have to download your free app. And you'll go to uh, one of the pages here, I forget which page it is, and it gives you the procedures for setting this thing, this uh, whole thing up. So what I really suggest that you do is follow those procedures exactly as they're explaining them to you, because you want to make sure that you have this all set up. And it's actually page 15 uh, in this manual that gives you the setup uh, ability for this camera, uh, for this housing rather. Okay, so once we have the book, uh, I know that uh, lots of people, including myself, uh, have a tendency not to read, but go ahead and read this. It's, it's a pretty short book and it will tell you exactly how to set this up. Now, it has this special clip on here so that you can, so that you can uh, access this and make it work properly for you. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn it around to this side right here. You're going to put your thumb here, push up, and pull that to the side, and the whole thing will open up. Just like that. Okay? And if you look down at this point down here, you'll see this is where your iPhone connects right here. The iPhone will, will be this way so that you can view your screen right through here. Once you close the door, the camera port will be right where this is so that you can take pictures or you can do video, one or the other. Again, this is a very, very good thing. I've already done a video on iGills. Uh, 
about IGILs on YouTube. It's actually titled IGILs on Scuba Views at Lake Mead. So I hope you enjoy using this. It's a wonderful, wonderful product. I have used it and it worked flawlessly for me. So until next time, this is Bill Crow saying, check out the iGills. It's worth your time. Thank you.